Ned, you've been watching this from afar for a long time. What do you think Jerome Powell is going to be asked and how will he answer? Well, I imagine he's going to be asked uh, how, he's, how he proposes to get out of the mess that has been created, uh, not, in, not by desire, but uh, the mess that the Fed has created. It's got $20 trillion of government debt. And he's, I'm sure he's going, to be, he's going to be asked what he proposes to do with that. How fast is he going to shed that? And, and uh, uh, yeah. Well, how will he answer? Because if it's phrased that way, which on one side of the aisle it might be, well, I, you know, there is there is a plan, right? Really, it's already really, in think, place. I think he's a kind of a tabula rasa. We really don't don't know. Uh, uh, he he has uh, gone along with the uh, with the majority at the Fed uh, for quite a while, so he hasn't he hasn't re, uh, hasn't uh, tipped his hand as to how he would. Uh, change things. Um, so, uh, it, in a way, it's uh, it's a pity because I think the Fed does really need to, to have some new directions. Uh, <clears throat> uh, the Fed is has been uh, so uh, timid about backing off from the uh, easy easy money and and the twenty trillion. Uh, and and uh, that's a shame because I think they should be more forceful and, and uh, be selling off uh, the long-term debt uh, at, at, a, at, a, at a smart pace. How would that raise inflation? We saw Janet Yellen just the other day again bring up the problem that we're not seeing inflation. In fact, if anything, it might be ticking down just a little bit. All the more reason why uh, the Fed should feel absolutely secure and right to 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 uh, start selling off that long-term debt at uh, much much faster than it's been doing. 